Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Guides. This one's going to be on cheap power from mechanism. So here's all the bits you need. Uh, some sort of organic matter. You need a crusher. You need transport pipes, or you could just put them next to each other. Pressurized reaction chamber. Electrolytic separator. Gas burning generator to burn some ethylene, which is what we're going to go for and some way of getting water into both the pressurized reaction chamber and the electrolytic separator. I've put electric pumps right here because that's from mechanism itself, but you could use something like a sink from cooking for blockheads or any other way that you can think of of getting more water into these two right here. So that's all the bits you need. I'll show you the process over here. I am using a hopper botany pot from the botany pots mod to get seeds and wheat. That is going into the crusher right here. I've put muffling upgrades on all of these so you don't hear them because they are quite loud. Uh, and a muffling upgrade requires some steel dust and some infused alloy, but that's not important for the setup, basically. So what this one does is it sends some, well, it crushes the seeds and the wheat, turns it into biofuel. The biofuel then gets put in the pressurized reaction chamber. And it creates substrate and some ethylene. The substrate we aren't actually going to use in this build, but you can, for example, get a uh, I don't know, a uh, drawer. I've got the functional storage mod installed, uh, as you can see right here. You can put that on top and you can set this to eject the substrate up into a drawer and maybe put a void upgrade on this if you don't care about the substrate. In this example, we are not going to be caring about the substrate. But what that creates is some, well, you just saw it, it popped up for like half a second right there. That creates some ethylene. Now, you do need hydrogen and water. So I've got a electric pump right here. And if you put an electric pump over a 2x2 two two of water, you get infinite water. You do have to power this. So I am using a creative energy cube right here. But once this setup is started you can actually plug this the gas burning generators into all of these machines here to power it so it is a self-sustaining system it can be more compact than this as well but the water from this gas pump which again creative energy cube is being pumped into this electrolytic separator and this one is dumping off the oxygen. I put dumping excess, so you can actually just leave it as dumping. Creating hydrogen. The hydrogen is being pulled out and pushed into the pressurized reaction chamber. That's where we're getting the hydrogen here. The water is coming from the front here. The biofuel is coming from the left from the crusher. And out the back is where the Ethylene is going into these gas burning generators. So the more ethylene you have in these gas burning generators right here, the more power they will produce. Again, I have put in the muffling upgrade on these, so you can't hear them because again, they're quite loud. Uh, but off one system like this, you can run six gas burning generators. Uh, you can leave this and not have them connected or anything to your power system and it will eventually fill up with uh, the ethylene and when they're at maximum they will produce a lot of power i've been trying to test this to see how much power they actually produce but um, i haven't found a good measurement for that just yet just know it's in the hundreds of thousands of uh, FE units. Uh, so I'm going to build a little uh, 
battery right over here and we're going to plug all of this in to the battery and we should be able to see how much power we are producing. Okay, so here's a little battery that I've got right here, it's an induction casing. It says induction casing, it is just an induction cell right here. So this has got uh, some ultimate induction cells right there. Underneath that, there's some providers as well. Uh, I am just gonna put that back together. It forms itself. We can hold uh, 38.40 TFE, which is a lot of power. Basically, I'm using this just so I can show you on a flux point right here. This is from the flux networks, got nothing to do with this. It's just very good to show you how much output we're gonna get. Uh, we've got a flux point down here. When I plug all of these into this flux point, they, uh, flux plug, sorry, they will then show up here the output and we'll see how much power this is producing. And again, right there, it shows 50 or 48,000 FE. It's coming off of all of these. I am using ultimate universal cables. Uh, that's because they can transfer more and more power. Uh, so that is currently only around 40,000. Uh, and it is going down because we are burning the ethylene at a quite a high rate. Uh, but what we can do is speed all of these up. So we've got some speed upgrades and some energy upgrades. Always do these two together. Quite easy to make. Just some osmium dust, some infused alloy some glass and some gold dust infused alloy and glass again so what you want to do on this because i'm in creative it won't actually consume them but i am gonna right click these on the three that we've got here and that will put them in there you have to shift right click and it'll put all of those in there so we've now got eight speed upgrades eight energy upgrades on all of these ones here you might need to do it on the pump as well but what this does is speeds everything up. And if I were to give this a load, 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 load more of the wheat and the seeds, this should speed up. So I'm gonna set something up for that right now. Now I've moved over to using melons instead because melons, when you crush them down, give you quite a lot of uh, the biofuel. The melon slices actually give you more than the entire melon. So one melon slice gives you four. If you use something like a compacting drawer or a sawmill, here's the sawmill recipe. You can use a sawmill to crush down a melon into nine slices. A melon will actually give you five. If you sawmill it first, you get nine. And then if you use those nine, you get four so you drastically increase the amount of biofuel you get if you uh split a melon down i am using quite a lot of like uh the hopper botany pots for melons right here uh, but this may not keep up i've just noticed but if it doesn't keep up you can have more melons or you can have a huge farm of melons i think melons are the best but you can use pretty much anything that gives you enough matter for the biofuel so this is now speeding up i am gonna quickly just get rid of the flux plug and we're gonna let all of these fill up and then we're gonna see how much power we are producing just to speed it up i put a creative chemical tank with some ethylene in it so now if we put the flux point back down the flux plug actually says 430,000 FE per tick from one, two, three, four, five, six gas burning generators. That's not a bad whack right there. Right, I think that concludes the cheap and easy power from mechanism. I will quickly build this in a way more compact way and uh, then we'll call it. All right, there we go. And there's a more compact version of it. I am using a trash can to get rid of the substrate right there. Well, uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And uh, I will see you in the next one.
Bye.